Who doesn't love mint chop chip ice cream? And if it's boozy, then even better. The grasshopper was allegedly invented as far back as 1919 in New Orleans, but it was actually a twist on a drink in William Boothby's 1908 book, World, World's Drinks and How to Mix Them, um, and that just contained the creme de menthe and creme de cacao, and then the cream came later. But once the cream was added, it really came of age in the 1950s and into the disco era of drinks. Nowadays, bartenders love playing with these flavors and I've seen clarified versions and one spiked with gin or another spirit to kind of dry it out a bit. So I'm gonna show you an original version and then a little twist that we have on the menu at my work here at Bomba at the moment. And if creamy drinks are your thing, then make sure you've liked and subscribed and all of that fun stuff because we have just filmed some ice cream cocktails. So a little hot tip here, I always like to measure out the cream first because then the other um, things going in the jigger can sort of rinse it out a bit. Obviously you always wanna clean your jigger anyway after you've used it, but we're gonna go 45 mils of cream, single cream, pouring cream, whatever you wanna call it. Get as much of that in there as wants to come out. And then 30 mils of creme de menthe. So I'm using a little mint liqueur, which is actually um, made locally by one of our neighbors here, but obviously all the big brands do one as well. This one isn't as lurid green, so I'd probably just get a little hint of green and not the bright one that you might've seen. And then 30 mils of white creme de cacao, a little sort of white chocolate vibe there. Then we're just gonna give this a nice big shake up. Gonna go into our chilled glass. Now this is obviously pretty rich already. You don't even really have to garnish it if you don't feel like it. You could do a little bit of um, grated chocolate or something like that. I'm gonna go with some grated nutmeg just for a little point of difference and some nice aromatics on here. Didn't really get any green at all, but I'm sure it's still gonna taste delicious. It always really surprises me how light cream cocktails actually can turn out because, so you're sort of whipping it with the ice there. So it's actually, you know, it's obviously rich and decadent, um, but actually not too sort of mouth coating or cloying like you would think. You get the nice freshness coming through from the min and then that little delicious chocolatey undertone and who doesn't love that? I mean, look, it's a classic for a reason, and there's a reason that it's still around. The grasshopper. So now you know. Now I can understand that you don't always feel like a creamy cocktail. So at Bomba, one of my colleagues, Ryan Casley, um, he's taken all of those flavors, but has dried it out a little bit with some manzanilla sherry and made it more of a fizz. Um, and it does have a very good name. I have to give him credit for that and a delicious drink. Uh, so this is the Jiminy Fizz. So for this one, we've got manzanilla as a little kind of dry base. So it's 30 mils of that. Then we go 20 mils each of your requisite liqueurs, so the creme de cacao. And you do wanna use the white one here because otherwise it won't be a very nice color when it comes out. And then 20 mils of our little mint liqueur. Last of the bottle here, you can tell this is a popular cocktail, just about there. And then this one has some egg white in it. So I'm just using like a pasteurized egg white. Obviously you can use fresh or um, a replacement like Instafoam or Aquafaba or something like that. About 15 mils and 15 mils of lemon juice. See, so yeah, as I said, very much on that sort of fizz template. And then a little secret ingredient here, which is some orange blossom water. So this is just gonna kind of like lift it all up, make it really floral. Um, anyone who has worked with orange blossom water before, it is quite a um, full on flavor. So definitely just sort of one little dash in there. Otherwise it'll start to taste a little bit soapy, especially with the mint. Um, so if you have it in a little bitters bottle, then just dash it in, or you can use the straw technique. So just cover the top of that to get some trapped in there. And then we'll just do Literally one, two drops. 
Now, obviously this has egg white in here, so we're gonna do our dry shake. So no ice first, just to get it all moving. And then some ice. And we have these fun sort of larger size flute glasses, but obviously like a nice tall, thin um, highball glass or something like that would work too. Strain that in. And then we're gonna top it up with a little bit of soda. Get that little spritz in, lighten it all up. So that's good. For this one, we do have a little uh, mint chocolate to grate on top there. It just goes on top, so you get some nice green and chocolatey bits in there. And there we have the Jiminy Fizz. Credit where credit's due. This is a really delicious drink. Um, still all of those flavors. So you've got the mintiness and the chocolatiness, but everything's just much lighter and brighter and fresher. Um, so a really good option if you want to kind of capture the essence of the grasshopper, uh, but you don't want the full cream version. You got the Jiminy Fizz. So now you know. make it quick intro. Who doesn't love a boozy dessert drink? And the grasshopper is one of the OGs. The original version was equal parts, creme de menthe, creme de cacao, and cream, which does lean a little bit on the sweeter side. I like Dale DeGroff's version, which ups the cream so that it's still really rich, but actually a little bit less sweet. So let's get making. Make it quick outro. I do feel like the grasshopper is very much a love it or hate it drink, so let me know what side of the fence you sit on in the comments. The grasshopper, so now you know.